All right, so let's get started in learning how to make a critter bot. This is step one, design. So as we get started, the first thing I want to talk about is the human brain. The human brain is inside our head. It's where we have thoughts and where we have memories. And it's actually pretty interesting. There are actually two sides to it. The first side is the left brain. So the left side of the brain, and that's colored in blue, that is where we think about numbers and formulas. So when we're doing math homework, it's the left side of the brain that is working. And it's also a place where we make observations. That's why we've got the magnifying glass, where we look at things. And then also where we take things that we look at and ask questions like, how does that work? That's the left brain working. Now the right brain, that's a very exciting place. That's the place where we think about art. So when we think of colors, when you ask yourself, what's your favorite color? That's your right brain moving. Uh, another thing is that that's where creativity comes from. When you get those light bulb moments, that's your right brain going off. And I love this part, imagination. Imagination is from the right side of our brain. So when we're thinking about unicorns or dragons, do those things actually exist? I don't know, but they exist in my right brain. All right, so what is design and what does it have to do with, with our brain? Well, if we think about it, quite simply, design is taking something from our imagination. So that would be remember our right brain and bringing that imagination into reality and the way that we do that is by looking at things and wondering asking questions how how do they work so the question is which side of the brain do we use for design is it the left side or is it the right side well actually we need both okay so then now that we know that, how do we design our critter bot? Because that's what we're here to do, right? Well, let's just go ahead and start off. We got to imagine our robot. We got to use our right brain. Let's think about what, what would our robot be? I'm going to give a couple examples. So let's say I'm thinking about a superhero. So in my brain right now, I'm thinking of a superhero. It looks like this. It's got a cape. Um, now I'm going to think of some colors, blue and red. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, what if I wanted to think of a mouse? Okay, so in my brain, I'm drawing a mouse, got an ear here, some fur, and I'm going brown, a brown mouse. Okay, now step two, we need to look at our parts. So we came up with something in our brain, but to bring it to reality, we have to actually see what parts we have. So in our box, we have our critter bot kit, and inside there, we have some instructions and parts. Now, if you take the instructions out, you're going to see all the parts here. And there are two main sections here. This section here, these are all the parts inside the box that you're going to need. And then these are extra parts like markers and scissors to do decoration and build. OK, so now that we know our parts, let's think and plan. we got to see how does this fit together? How do our parts help me bring my imagination to reality? OK, well, Let's, uh, we're gonna need a few things. We need this guy right here. That's our, our cup. It's gonna become our body or our torso. And then this uh, torso shape will wrap around our cup. Then we need a head shape. That's gonna be where we uh, design our head. And then some sticky foam to stick everything together. And then these extra supplies here to help us decorate, to cut, and to build. Okay, so now we've got to design our torso. And so the torso is another, another word for chest. So imagine I'm doing the superhero. And so I take my torso uh, design here, and then I'm going to color now what's in my brain to match on the torso. Okay, looks pretty good, a belt, a little triangle thing. Okay, now if I'm doing the mouse, um, I would take my robot torso, and since my mouse in my brain is brown, I'm just going to color it brown. Now, you know, you might do a mouse that's red, that's cool, or a mouse that's pink, that's fine too, but mine's brown. So now let's design our head. Um, okay, so if I was doing the superhero, then uh, I, I have, I'm going to get the human head, and I'm going to color, I'm going to, okay, I've got some uh, hair here, some nice hair, and a smiley face. My superhero is smiling. And uh, let's say I'm doing the mouse. Well, let's get the animal head and draw the mouse. Okay, so got some ears and uh, eyes. I got a whiskers. A mouse got to have whiskers, right? 
Okay, so things are looking good. Now the last part, let's capes, arms, hands, and tails. These are appendages, extra things that we can add to our critter bot. So if, if it's the superhero, I'm thinking about maybe a cape. I'm thinking about some gloves, some arms, and some sleeves there. Okay, not bad. Okay, now if, if I'm doing the mouse, for example, then I'm going to be, let's see, what do we need here? Tail, some arms, and a bow. My, uh, my mouse is fancy, so I'm going with a bow there. So now that our design is complete, uh, we need to go ahead and put this thing together. So we're going to assemble uh, your parts. If you look inside the, the build instructions, there's all these instructions that will tell you how to do that. Once you've done that, you put it together and it looks something like this. So check it out. My imagination has become reality. Not bad, right? Okay, for a mouse, my imagination was this. It became this. Also not bad, check that out, that bow, that's a nice bow. All right, so we're done for this part. Next up, let's go ahead and make our robot come alive. The way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use electricity uh, to help our robot move, and so we gotta learn about batteries.